Tom Acosta is the spokesperson for the Norwegian Refugee Council, West and Central Africa. We've re-established contact with the DRC's capital, Kinshasa. Uh, Tom, how serious is this situation in terms of the requirements of these displaced people? Well, the situation is, is very critical. Uh, just in the last four days, uh, the escalation of the fighting has triggered more than, uh, has pushed more than 37,000 people uh, on the road. They are fleeing, they are grabbing what they can grab. Uh, and now they are settling um, in churches and in school away from the fighting. They don't have anything to eat. They don't have anything to drink. Uh, we have already reports of uh, dehydration and diarrhea among children. So the situation is critical. We are scaling up, but we have two uh, major issues. The first one is the access. Uh, the insecurity is preventing us to reach those in need in certain areas. Uh, especially uh, near the borders with Uganda. And the second issue is with what money? The humanitarian response in Congo is critically underfunded years after years. This year, we don't even have 10% of the money needed to answer to the need. So we are just facing a critical and impossible choice on who to assist, who, to, uh, who are we deciding to assist, and who are we not assist. So the situation is critical. And the NRC is one of many NGOs that may want to help. I mean, obviously, you are already helping. But don't you need a bigger global actor like the United Nations to make the situation clear and say to donor nations and to donor organizations, come on, give the money. The people on the ground are there to help, but they need the money. That's the case. We are all advocating for more money. Uh, international NGOs like NRC, IRC, the United Nations, we are all pulling out for more money. So we need the international community to be mobilized more for these crises in Africa that are one of the most neglected. We also need uh, regional states in the area uh, and the, the, the armed actors in the country to come up to an agreement uh, to find peaceful solution. The uh, peace talks in Nairobi between the government and army groups was the perfect occasion to find peaceful solution, but nothing was found. And now we are a bit in a, in, a, in a dead end. We are really calling everyone to prevent, to make sure that we prevent uh, a total war to, to come back to, to the area. Because 10 years ago, um, the fighting between M23 and, and the government was already displaced dozens of thousands of people in the area. So the grim history repeats itself. Tom Costa, everybody wishes you the best of luck with the work that you guys are doing at the NRC. Thank you so much indeed, Tom.